Hi guys. What you see is my muslin and I've made a grid pattern for my um, smocking pleats, but I did a little experiment where I changed the size. So these are one inch grid marks over here and these are half inch grid marks. And then I pulled the thread across and you can get a sense of how deep the pleats are and narrow they are. So I decided I would not continue with that. So I'm just finishing my row down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump this one so my pleats are only an inch. And what I'm doing is taking my needle. And I'm just going underneath the dot. And then I'm going to move over to the next dot mark and pick up the fabric on my needle. So what I'm really doing is gathering on my needle until I reach the end. And then I'm going to draw my thread all the way through and I just took it off the needle. And that's one row completed and then I have three more rows to complete. So I'll be back in just a minute. So what I'm going to do is start at a new point, a new row, and I'm going to go into that point and draw my thread up. And then I'm going to stop and I'm going to back tack or back stitch. And that is going to secure my thread. You don't have to actually make a physical knot in your thread so you can see how secure it that is. And then I'm going to go across my row, my guide. And I'm just picking up a little bit of the fabric. And again, I'm just gathering the fabric onto the needle. If you do this with a long needle, it's a lot easier to put a lot of fabric on it. So I'm almost at the end. I'm squeezing as much as I can on that. And then I'm going to stop. Let me see, did I do that correctly? This one and this one. I'm going to pull my needle out all the way. And I'm going to open the fabric up. And now I have two more rows and then I will have completed my smocking. I want to stop. Pause. So I just focused the camera up a little bit. So again, I'm going to bring my thread into that point. I'm going to draw my thread up. The double thread. So you're leaving a little bit of a tail. And I'm going back in and doing a back stitch. And that's going to secure a knot and make a knot or secure the fabric. And then we go across. So you're just barely picking up some fabric underneath and basically threading that fabric on the needle and going across. So it's very methodical. You're following the path of the grid. Bringing the needle across. Opening it out. I like this method of smocking. It makes really nice even pleats. And then I'm going to snip off my thread and then make a new thread. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. 
So here's my last row. Let's see if I can break the screen. And hold the tail in place. Back stitch. It's secure. And go across one last time. And then we're done with our pleating. And we can pull all of it up. And you'll see how even the pleats are. Again, I'm using a fairly short needle. Voila. So this is what the fabric looks like on the back. You can barely see the small pink red where I have done a running stitch through all of the little grid points or intersections. These are all of my secure knots. So I'm going to turn this, actually I'm going to leave it in this direction because I'm right-handed. And what I want to do is take two pairs of threads like you see here. And we're going to pull those gently. And it's a way to gather the fabric. The way to gather the fabric. And then we can get a sense of how deep the pleats are on the other side and we'll be straightening those out so they look uniform. And in order to pleat this, So I have the two strands of yarn in my fingers, thread in my fingers, so I'm going to tie these off. That's to keep the pleats uniform. So I'm doing a square knot, which was left over right and then right over left. And that's really secure. Tie that off and then take a look at the front. So that was only one row, but we have to pull all of the rows. And then we're going to even out those pleats. And I'll take an iron and just hover over the top and kind of steam set. But these are really nice uniform pleats. And so an inch wide grid makes a fairly um, deep or steep pleat. And you can see how much the fabric um, has shrunk because of that. But the fabric will actually stretch back out once we have finished our smocking. So I'm going to stop sharing right now or stop recording. So I'm going to then continue pulling the pairs of threads and you do need pairs in order to, to tie them off. So when I made my grid, I made my pairs. Something just happened. 